Hi everyone, I'm Barnaby from Electric Car Converts and today we're going to give you a full workshop tour. We haven't done a workshop tour in the past so you may as well see where we work every day. We, the reason we're doing this is because it's super tidy because we just had Jerome from Out of Spec here doing a full YouTube video of an in-depth discussion of what we do. I think that's going to be 45 minutes an hour long so this is a sort of sneak preview of that so go and watch the full video from Jerome, I'll put the link in the description. Come in. First things first, this is Treacle. She's the workshop dog, she's here every day. We've got Chili as well, Chili's not in today, but they hang out with us. First thing you'll get to is, this is actually a full Defender drivetrain from a Puma that we've got around the corner, which I'll show you in a minute, 2011. Um, 2.2 litre diesel, 120 horsepower or something like that with a massive gearbox, I think that's a six speed. This is about to be shipped to Kenya where it's going in a, well, in a, in a Defender, I guess, where the engine's been blown up. Um, so that shows you what comes out and I'll show you what goes in here. 80s Range Rover, came to us red, we sent it away. It's been away from us for almost a year getting a full mechanical restoration. So new axles, new diffs, new suspension, new brakes, new, literally new everything. And then it got a respray to yellow. It will go, we've had it now back for what, a month, six weeks or so, and we fitted our kit in it. And then it will go back to the client where he'll do the interior and a couple of little bits. Um, Felton, universal battery pack in the front, 55 kilowatt hours. That's good to get this car Probably over 150 miles. We haven't properly range tested it yet, but the blue four-door we did before that was doing 150 plus in the warmth, you know, not driving it crazy. So we'll see what this does. Fast charges, 25, 30 minutes. It's got power steering. It's got cooling, two separate rad packs in the front. Um, nothing really else to mention in the front here. If you come inside, We've got the original key, flicker on. As soon as the high voltage goes present, we've got nice gauges showing battery level, battery temperature, amps, and speed. Select the gear there, original heater, matrix, and everything there, so you can turn the blower on, etc. We've also got heated screen, um, and yeah, power steering, things like that. So, all pretty good. Charge socket looks pretty cool too. That's a bit of Toby's genius. So, that's that one, that's done. That's the one that's leaving us. Treacle, come on. That's the one that's leaving us next. Um, now you can see them in various stages of their build. So, we've also got two Defenders in. Now there are, well, two Puma green Defenders in. They're a pair. They're going to the same client um, who's, who we purchased them for the client. They're going up to the Midlands where they're gonna be on an estate. Um, one is the crew vehicle, so for taking, I don't know, animals around the estate, uh, workers, whatever. And then one is the client vehicle, so people in the back just viewing, I guess, the, the land and the, the buildings or whatever. I think they're also becoming a hotel soon, so I guess they're the hotel vehicles. This one has had the fabrication completed on it, which is this big pile here. Trickle out the way, darling. This big pile here. Um, so battery box mount, battery box cross member and the front of the motor. Couple of motor mounts down there, radiator packs, uh, radiator mounts. These are the gauges. So that will sit where the gauges are in the original housing. So I'll show you them in a moment. Pretty nice little kit there. Battery box. This is our empty demi demo one. That's not 320 kilos, you wouldn't even be able to move it. Um, so that's what the battery pack looks like when it's not in a car. You can see it's pretty deep, it's fairly big, but we can fit it in the front of ranges, defenders, and hopefully series. Um, so that's those two green ones. This is an older one, 1990 um, odd. Um, not the most immaculate defender that I'll show you behind you in a minute but it is still very much Defender and still something we'll do kits on. And I think maybe that's a little bit unique for us that we will do, you know, battered old farm vehicle and still put 
our fantastic, you know, Tesla Model 3 system in it um, and, you know, not restore it. We don't do any resto. So this has come to us with, you know, the old bit of rust or whatever, and it will go back like that, you know, not, not anything to do with us. Kit for it's there. So that's about to go to powder coat as well. You can probably see that we sort of try and get a big load together and then we'll send it all off at once. That's the original rad surround. We'll send that off for powder coating as well, make it look nice again. But a uh, very similar kit to the one on the floor over there. Toby starts fab on this kit next week, which is a Puma, exactly the same as the other two in there. So very quick for us because it's just a universal system. We build the same mounts every time. Fabrication. This is our fabrication room um, where Toby and his welders live. Um, most important thing in here is our CNC plasma cutter. Um, now, what that means is Toby can draw next door intricate shapes, parts, mounts, Tesla mounts that are crazy in dimension, obviously, because they're not, you know, a Tesla motor isn't designed for a Land Rover, but we've got to make it fit somehow. So then comes over here, cuts it out out of five mil steel in this case. So that's mega strong and it cuts through it like butter. Um, you can see the blanks, you know, they look like that. Just sort of shows all those, all those parts you see on the floor are cut out by this and then welded up over here by Toby or by a contract welder that we'll bring in. What you'll see is that we're trying to keep our team, our core team quite small and then we have contractors in. So we have a mechanic come take engines out. We have a welder come and weld things up when we've got a big pile of stuff here. Um, electric, electrical people on, you know, out of the workshop, do, building it online for us and, you know, helping us with that kind of stuff. We've got bending machines, bending machines, power tools, drills, all that kind of stuff in here. Material there, you'll notice that material is very, um, it's, it's common sizes. So that's just a standard box section size that we use. It's standard five mil thick steel that we use most of the time, maybe a bit of thinner alley sometimes when we're building a rad pack or something. So we're not reinventing the wheel by using crazy material that we don't need to. And that's how we can keep costs down, um, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, rather than CNC machining and a beautiful aluminium billet part. We just take five, you know, three or four pieces of five mil steel, weld them together, powder coat it. It looks the same. It does the same job. It's not quite as fancy, but it's significantly cheaper. Um, so that's that through here. We got the, this, this is my favorite building at the minute. It's a Neen Overland, big pop top defender. So this is gonna go off road, like camp in the middle of nowhere kind of thing. Um, it's got a standard UBP in the front. Well, it will have a standard UBP in the front, 55 kilowatt hours, but it's getting a new Felton product, which is a seat box. So the entire seat box, which is this box here where the front and well, the front seats sit on, that will be one big 55 kilowatt hour pack. So making the total um, capacity 110 kilowatt hours in this thing, which is good for, we're estimating 300 miles of range. So with the 300 horsepower Tesla Model 3 motor, this is gonna be an absolute weapon. It also does V2L, so you can plug in, well, another car. This could charge another car. This could charge, well, power your house. This could power your toaster when you're in the middle of nowhere. You could even watch TV in, at a festival. I don't know if you're that kind of person. In here is electrics, stock, wiring, things like that. So you'll notice we've got shelves with HV cable, various parts, but the real stuff is, for example, the two door defender there, all the parts for it are sitting on this shelf. And they're all here before we even get the vehicle through the door. Second client pays a deposit, which is 10%. All of those parts get ordered. So Toby and I are never missing anything and everything can move quickly. That's how we can build a car every month because we're not waiting on components. We've got a car outside in the car park that doesn't come in until October and all the parts are already sitting on the shelf. So we're never gonna get delayed. If things come forward, great. Um, so that's that stuff. Toby does CAD here and does ordering here and bits of admin for us. Um, and then we've got the wiring. This is actually a demo wiring harness. So it's always the same, no matter if it's a Range Rover, a Defender, a long wheelbase, short wheelbase, this is always exactly the same. We spent a lot of time getting this absolutely right, 
But what we've done is got our fuse boards, etc., which mount on the side of the battery box, and then they come out, you can follow it. You know, this is technically idiot proof. You could say to someone, right, the blue wire, follow the blue wire, put it through that cable tie, that cable tie, blah, 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 get it to there, and that's the motor pump, put that fitting on it. And we know the lengths are gonna be correct. So the other side of that is, for example, the selector. So the gear selector that you've seen inside the car, drive, neutral, reverse, plugs into that loom, which is exactly the right length. And we've already, we've already worked all that out. We know exactly what's going on there. So the lengths are perfect. You install it, you plug it all in. That's it. So Toby's parts bolt in, my parts plug in. Um, and that's, if you're overseas and you're installing one of our kits, it's very easy to do because it's all pre-made there. We then use this board to copy that, so to speak. So all of these are in the same place. You'd put your wires in, you'd get it all the right lengths and everything, put the right crimps connectors on them and then pull it off and put it in a car. We've actually got one sitting in stock here. So you can see how that looks when it's just ready in stock, ready for the next vehicle that needs one. So that's this room. We've got another UBP here. This one's all wrapped up because it actually has got batteries in it. This is our really nice new fuse board cover. So that fuse board I was just speaking about sits on the side of the box there. And then that sits over it, which looks really nice once it's powder coated and everything. That looks great. Um, what else we got? Upstairs is all of our storage. So your bonnets will go upstairs, your spare wheels, anything that sort of gets in our way. Um, so first thing we'll do is obviously take a bonnet off so we can't damage it. Um, part, some bigger parts that we don't need. We've also got what we call our red kits, which are our demo kits. So when Toby's about to build something, he's got an exact replica of what he's building, painted red, stored upstairs. We've got offices up there as well, six offices or something. Kitchen through there, that's about it really. It's all looking good. Um, so if you wanna come and test drive a car, you're more than welcome anytime. Um, get in touch on our website, view our other YouTube videos. Thank you very much for watching. Now go watch Jerome's full video.